Hello everybody, this is part two of the IGA review. Right now I'm actually here at my post office checking my post office box. And right across from Chesapeake Post Office, right over there, you'll see Dollar General. But on the left side of Dollar General, that way, that bank's in a way, little plaza, that's the IGA store. Across from it, you got the Dairy Bell. It's a good place to eat, but it's highly pricey. For my fancy, but it's like a, it's a mom and pop shop. Right over there will be the IGA store, which I'll be over in a minute. This is the 17th. I'll be around about two, around, around two o'clock. So let's see. People like to race down here, and the speed limit's on 25, and cops do pull you over for a mile over. So, I guess I'll just take you for the journey before I hit IGA. And see what's in the peel box. See? This is, this is where it's at. Here's a peak Ohio. And you go over here. And you hit 591. It looks like mail. Junk mail. Alrighty then. Pull this stuff out. And we'll hit IGA and... See what happens. See, this is five nine one. If you want to send something in the mail, it's five nine. Don't worry about it. That's cool. I'm not pressuring nobody to do anything like that. All right. Let's see what IG looks like. Well, hello again. All right. This is the part two of IGA in Chesapeake, Ohio. This is the 17th, around 2:30. Little plaza place here. And if you see right over there, that's where the Chesapeake Post Office was. That's where I was at just a second ago. And there's Daria Bell there. That used to be a save a lot. So let's go inside and see what's up. And what has changed. Alrighty, it has changed since I've been here. You have these here, a lot of these here. And like I said, it used to be a Save-A-Lot store. And last time I've ever been in here, believe it or not, was about a week after they opened. And how they do things is, you buy stuff at store cost, as they say. Then when you get the cash register, they add 10 cents to it. They said that's their price. So... I remember my last YouTube. I have done this here. Well, actually, they change this here too, here a little bit. Campbell soup. Stuff there. I see the milk. Now, right, let's see right here. Good example. What is it? $1.98 for 2%. So we'll wait for that. Now look here. It says the IG may is dollar ninety eight, but there's three eighteen. So imagine that you put ten cents to that. So Walmart still got that cheap. Walmart's like probably dollar ninety still, dollar twenty five where I'm at, and like this right here. Now, believe it or not, if you go to Walmart, see this right here? That's thick cut baloney. 260. I only charge you 10 cents. That's 270 plus tax. If you go to Walmart, thick cut baloney Walmart is two dollars. To me, I think they're still price gouging these people here. These right here, Oscar Mayer wieners. I buy them all the time. Same thing with that. 260. Add 10 cents, 270 plus tax. Guess what? It's Walmart. Two. 49 where I'm at So there are price gouges just a bit and I think it's kind of wrong And let's see about the hamburger Probably kicked out the people watching me 
Let's see. At the three pound, okay, look here. Uh, let's see here, 3.38, that's 307. Let's see here, okay, right here, 298. Three, so pretty much, you can get a three pound, three pound and 83, I'm not sure it's a hair or a pound, but you can get it for like a Walmart for seven, 42. So they're actually charging you more at eleven forty one at them. And I understand that it's local and I know some people can't get out all the way out to a Walmart somewhere and they're actually have to get here. I understand that, but that what they should do is price cheap like Walmart, but but you know how things are. So that's why I had to film people get in trouble this one real quick. Mayonnaise, 396. There's 256 for a Lay's. And they charge you a dime, which would be 266 plus tax. That's a little bit of difference. I mean, you go to Walmart and get it for 248. But see, Walmart's got a market for everything, and that's what kills these small places like this because they can't compete with Walmart because they have Walmart buys railroad car full of stuff semi truckload of stuff and so just different things here and let's see now I'll tell you one thing that is cheaper than Walmart over 36 for Foster Flakes plus 10 cents Back over here again. Let's check for pop out, I guess. Well, actually, here it's a little, you know, it's about the same price as Walmart, two thirty, and Walmart two forty-eight. I'm sorry, I'm walking too fast. I've got I've been looking at me weird, so I don't know if they like me filming or not. But like this right here. Well, I'll get this stuff here. It's 294 for that. Let's see here. Six something. Well, if you go to Walmart like this right here, that's 871. Walmart is 695. So like I said, it's a small place. Mom and Pop's well, not a my pop shop, it's a big known company, but it still should be the same price as Walmart because Alright, 72 cents for their pop, which is cheaper than Walmart, I'm thinking. Dollar four for Diet Sun Kiss, dollar four, but they have to charge you 10 cents, dollar 14. Yeah, about a quarter cheaper, but quarter to quarter. Now, stuff like this here is cheap. Coca Cola is 338. We have 488, but whenever you go to Walmart, the regular price is like almost five dollars. But you're still paying what 75 cents cheaper. Now these are 250 a piece at Walmart right now. This is August 17th. And they got it for 207. I might get me a couple of them before I leave. That's kinda let's just see what the price tag looks like on it. I'll show you what they charge and don't charge. Alrighty, I hope you like this view here in this uh, second part of IGA. And here in a minute, I'm going to buy one of these pops here, and I will show you the receipt on how they charge. Alright, hold on. Alrighty, this is what I bought. It said 207. Here's the receipt. It says you pay 207. Plus 10% on a dollar. That's what that is. So they charge me 20 cents in tax, so it makes 2.43. So that makes it 10 cents cheaper than Walmart instead of 50 cents cheaper. But that's what it looks like. So you're really not saving that much. But if you don't get no transportation and you got no way of getting to Walmart, that's understandable. I've been there and done that before. 
So, with that said, you know, it's give or take. Alrighty, I hope you all like this, and please comment and like. And don't forget uh, the king of corn, my son. He's got his YouTube channel as well. We got one subscriber that went over to his, so he wanted me to sh tell this person thanks. Miss Journey 93. He's he likes to comment on stuff, but sometimes he does it because he's 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 backwards, but he's getting there. Alrighty, I will see you. Thanks, y'all.